The prime focus of the Kikim Jenny leg is to explore this uh, fascinating submarine volcano called Kikim Jenny, which is located off the coast of Grenada. I think we're going to see some really exciting things. I mean, I can't think of anything more exciting than taking a trip into an active submarine volcano. And Kikim Jenny is the only submarine volcano in the Lesser Antilles. It's the most active volcano in the Lesser Antilles, and it erupts about every 10 years. I'm really excited about going back to Kikim Jenny because we were there in 2003, so it's been about 10 years since the last time we were there. And so one of the objectives will be to go back and to explore that hydrothermal system to see if there are any changes that have taken place. If the volcano is going to become more active, then one of the signs of increased potential activity is that the hydrothermal system will start to ramp up. We'll see more gas, we'll see more fluids. So we can use the data that we collected in 2003 and compare that with the new data that we find in 2013 to see if there are any changes that suggest that the volcano might become more active. We're expecting, based on the historical record, that pretty soon Kikim Jenny will become active once again. The crater at Kikim Jenny is circular, but then it's breached on one side. So there's like a big bite that's been taken out of the crater. And that's normal for submarine volcanoes that have these debris avalanche collapses. So during the growth of the volcano, one side of the volcano will actually fail and it'll look like someone took a big bite out of the crater. And that's essentially what the current state of Kikim Jenny is right now. So we think that at some time in the geologic past, the ancestral Kikim Jenny was a much bigger volcano and it actually was above the surface of the sea. And at some point, that collapsed and went down into this deep basin called the Grenada Basin. Right now, the small Kikim Jenny is essentially growing up inside this crater. And that's the way volcanoes evolve, is that they collapse, they rebuild, they collapse again. And as I mentioned before, these collapses are, are dangerous because they can produce tsunamis. So it's important to know the timing of these collapses in order to understand the risk of future events at Kikim Jenny. One of the objectives is to bring a special device on the ROV to sample the gases in situ and to analyze those gases and to see what their composition is. So Kikim Jenny, in that area of Grenada, there are very strong currents out in the, the islands off of Grenada. And the local fishermen, when they go out to, to fish, the boats are often buffeted by these strong currents. And so they feel like they're getting kicked. The Jenny part is Jenny is the term for mule in the West Indies. So Kikim Jenny means it's like being kicked with them by a mule. So the local fishermen who are around the area of Kikim Jenny, the sea surface is disruptive and it's, it's being turbulent and they're being kicked around. So the local fishermen say it's like being kicked by a mule. That's how Kikim Jenny got its name.